another video if you're new here nice to meet you my name is lucy this is my channel where i am newly focused on i will renovation and redoing stuff and i also like to travel and that's me so anyway also some lifestyle vlogs and stuff like that this week we're renovating a piece of furniture that I want to use in the room I'm actually sitting in. I saw this piece of furniture in an antique store. It was super cheap on sale and I just had a great idea for it. So essentially it looks totally different from my vision I have in my head. And there's a couple fun pieces here I'm gonna show you in a little bit. Before we get outside, I wanted to talk a little bit about the products that I'm using. This is not an ad. This is just me sharing information with you, literally. Uh, so the first one is this stuff that I found on Amazon that my mom has used. It mixes up to one gallon of paint to make it mineral or chalk paint. It says it's a affordable premium alternative to chalk, mineral, and all-in-one paints. I've worked a lot with the Dixie Bell paint and I love it a lot. But it is expensive. Um, it, probably like a quart is anywhere from $30 to $40 depending on where you get it. They don't have a huge shade range and it's kind of difficult to find like the place that i have that it has ugh, the place that carries it near me is like 20 minutes away or longer so i'm gonna try this my mom used it last weekend on a piece of furniture and it turned out really nicely and i saw that piece of furniture last sunday in person so i'm excited to try this out i just got it on amazon it was kind of expensive it was around 30 bucks the other thing that i found this week in researching how i was going to do this project was this and i have a similar brush um but i paint a lot so anyway i thought it was awesome it wasn't very expensive like seven or eight dollars on amazon and the bristles are like super super nice but this is the best part is that it fits perfectly in your palm and for painting a lot if anyone here paints a lot they know that this is super uncomfortable to like if it has the regular they, they make palm sized ones, but the regular ones have a regular sort of like this funky paint end and it hurts because there's only a little piece that sits in your palm. And then this is all open, sort of. I'll show you on another one I have. And it's just not nearly as comfortable. And so when you're also painting with chalk paint, you wanna be specific about the tools that you're using because the chalk paint can get kind of thick. Let's go. Okay, I have some supplies. So we've got the water in here. And then we add, this didn't have a ceiling thing when I opened it, so it doesn't it just, it's just, it's just powder. It's really heaping. So we go one. I think that looks smooth and creamy. I'm gonna go with it. I should, I should do this outside actually. Okay, the operation has moved outdoors. I feel like a mad scientist. I don't know. Look at my setup here. So now I'm just mixing this. Again, mad scientist. Okay, step one is done. Now we have to make our way to here <laughs> and that's a piece of furniture um i need to clean it off i started to sand it but i kind of think it doesn't need it i have the sander outside just in case but um i'm just gonna give it a good clean and then just start with the paint especially because it's dark paint um i think it will really be fine i also need to tape off the doors a little bit because the doors are glass and I could not figure out for the life of me how to get them off. Isn't it cute? I love the sun. I feel like you can see it. No. So I'm going to tape off part of it to 
Check the doors, I'm getting paint because I'm a super messy painter. So I just realized that it's a little windy and that's a problem. So I wanna get a lot of stuff on it while I'm painting it. Also, I realized that if it's wet, I leave it out and I don't want to deal with it anymore. Then I have to do like wait for it to dry to move it somewhere where I can store it. So I'm gonna move it into our shed. Woo, okay, not, not cute, but good view. Okay, we've got keys on our paint. Let's start on the inside. That's all painted except a little bit right here and I'm gonna finish that up and then we're gonna start painting the outside. Okay, before Will gets here with uh, his weed whacker, she's painted. She's got coat one on. Definitely gonna need uh, a second coat, but that's okay. Um, I do like this paint stuff. Uh, it worked pretty well. I just feel like it doesn't go as far as chalk paint. Like if you buy chalk paint, yes, it's expensive, but it goes really far. But if you need a super specific color so far, it's really good for that. So um, I'm gonna need definitely one more coat on the whole thing. So I'm gonna probably have to mix up some more of that white goop with the blue paint. But in the meantime, I have another situation I'm trying to decide because I have to wallpaper. I have to wallpaper the back because if you can't tell now, but this is open. I guess you could tell when I was painting it. And I have a piece of board and wallpaper that I need to put together here. I need to wallpaper the board. And I don't, I've never wallpapered in my life. So I think I'm gonna give it a rest here. I'm gonna go work on painting the door that I need to do and come back and finish painting it before I work on the wallpapering. I think I might work on the wallpaper inside this evening. I don't know. Okay. And I don't know how this is gonna go because I have AirPods on, but it is the end of the day and the second coat is drying. I think it looks pretty good. Um, Tomorrow, I'll probably do a light. There's two other uh, shelves there. Hang over there. Tomorrow, I'll do a light sand on the whole thing and see how it looks. I'm also not sure. I think I might have to paint the wood there. I don't think I like it being exposed wood. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll sand it tomorrow morning. Do any touch-ups where it needs. Um, I, mean, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's these like orange whatever this was from. I don't hate it because like the blue and orange is kind of a thing, but I'm just not sure. I just don't know how they would come off. So we'll see about that. So I will see you all tomorrow to finish up him. We are mid project. It's Monday early morning and yeah, um, this is how it's gonna look. I'm actually really pleased. I think the darker color, this is darker on the outside, looks really nice. I'm still not sure about, honestly, there's no magnets in here. So these have like orange lines, but it, I don't know, it kind of looks funky. We have the wine rail down there. I contemplated doing it last night and then I gave up. I realized that these magnets hit like are gonna go right here. So it's gonna be hard to do wine rack right there. So I'm just gonna use, there's pegs like pretty high up. So I'm just gonna make a really tiny like short shelf and then for little like dishes and stuff. And then I'm gonna make the wine rack right under it. I'm really loving the wallpaper situation. You can see I did have to seam it and it's not perfect. 
but I'm I'm not upset about it. It's my first try and I think you won't really be able to tell because it's the back of the piece. How are we doing, Will? Um, that was a washing machine. Update, it is Monday night, so we're getting close. It looks, whoop, I just fell. It looks good. We are, the vision is coming together, but then I scratched up here, so I had to repaint that. The rest of it is pretty much ready to go. I'm just gonna let it chill out here and then go ahead and give it a wax upstairs and we'll show the final reveal tomorrow. Here is the final countdown. Oh, I'm just kidding. Here's the final dresser. Dresser? Cabinet. Hello. All right, here's the final cabinet. I used some wax on it to get it nice and buttery soft. Literally, it's like, it feels so nice and smooth. I don't know if I can, you guys can see it up close. There's like not a really good angle in here right now, but that's not bad. It's so smooth and soft. The wax worked really well, and I think this is a good setup. I'm still not sure about the wood here. Um, I've gone back and forth, but I'm gonna think about it for a little while and then make a decision. Also, this is the wax I used, um, Clear Paste Wax by Trewax, Tree Wax, I don't know. My mom just gave it to me, and, um, cause she just did a piece of furniture, so I didn't wanna buy more. It worked really well, and there's a ton of it in here. I'm not sure what this costs but she did a whole piece of furniture i also and there's still like plenty left i guess you can also use this for your floors so that was easy and then i just used i think this is a wax brush or i don't know, like a round paintbrush or something um but she also gave me this and i just used that and i kind of just actually i still have to do this side but you kind of just make little circles all over it and then I used a microfiber cloth to buff it out and then went over some of it with just like this is a like a painter's cloth that's just kind of made out of a cotton almost like a cotton t-shirt material and just to do a final wipe down of it um, but you can definitely tell the part that's just sanded and white and the part that has the wax on it, it's definitely a different feeling overall this took me like not that long but obviously whenever you're painting anything the waiting time for the paint to dry is a little bit annoying. I would say a difficulty scale. This one was a little more difficult because if you guys can see, I added like the wine rails here and I did the wallpapering in the back. Will had to cut that, so I don't count that as part of my difficulty. I'd say this one was more like a five because all the other furniture I've painted has just been like a two because I just directly painted it and maybe changed out knobs, that's it. So this one's been a little bit more labor intensive, but it still wasn't too bad. I didn't do any major structural changes to the piece of furniture? Ayo. <laughs> you gotta pay for that. That's it. I think you can hear the water. That's it for the video this week, everyone. Have a wonderful rest of your week. I really hope I can get this up quickly. It's just been busy around these parts. So have a wonderful rest of your week and like and subscribe and let's be friends and tell me about a recent project you've done or any tips you have. See you next week. Bye.